Greetings, weary traveller, and welcome to Cryptid Central. In today's video, we'll be discussing one of the most famous, popular, and elusive cryptids of all time, the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie as she is commonly referred to as, is a creature in British folklore that is said to inhabit Loch Ness, located in the Scottish Highlands in Britain. She is most commonly thought of as being a large, long-necked aquatic creature with one or more humps that protrude from her back when swimming along the surface of the water. The Loch Ness Monster is one of folklore's most enduring legends, having enjoyed mainstream prominence since the early 1930s, though sightings and stories go back as far as the year 565 AD. The earliest known report of a monster in the Loch Ness vicinity appears in the life of St. Columba by Adomnan, written in the 6th century AD. According to Adomnan, the Irish monk St. Columba was staying in the land of the Picts, in present-day Scotland, when he encountered local residents burying a man by the River Ness. They explained that the man was swimming in the river when he was suddenly attacked by a water beast that mauled him and dragged him underwater. The most well-known article that first attracted a great deal of attention to the Loch Ness Monster was published on the 2nd of May 1933 in the Inverness Courier newspaper, which talked about a large beast or whale-like fish that had been sighted. The article was written by Alex Campbell, a part-time journalist, and discussed the sighting by a young local woman of an enormous creature with the body of a whale rolling in the water in the loch, while she and her husband were driving past on the 15th of April 1933. The word monster was reportedly applied for the first time in Campbell's article. On the 4th of August 1933, the Inverness Courier published a report of another alleged sighting. Londoner George Spicer, the head of a firm of tailors, claimed that a few weeks earlier, while he and his wife were driving around the lock, they saw what he described as, quote, the nearest approach to a dragon or prehistoric animal that I have ever seen in my life, trundling across the road toward the lock with an animal in its mouth. It has been claimed that sightings of the monster increased after a road was built along the lock in early 1933, bringing workers and tourists to the formerly isolated area and possibly disturbing the creature, which had not had any human contact for centuries. And of course, there is the iconic surgeon's photograph that is reportedly the first photo of the creature's head and neck. Taken by Robert Kenneth Wilson, a London gynaecologist, it was published in the Daily Mail on the 21st of April 1934. Wilson's refusal to have his name associated with it led it to being known as the Surgeon's Photograph. Skeptics have suggested that the photograph depicts an otter or a swan, or even an oddly shaped piece of driftwood. In 1963, zoologist Maurice Burton came into possession of two positive slides from the original negative, and when projected onto a screen, they revealed an otter rolling at the surface in characteristic fashion. Now, this could be true, or it could just be what the men in charge want us to think. Perhaps they need to keep Nessie's existence a secret for some unknown reason. There have been many sightings of Loch Ness Monster over the centuries. Is it possible for so many people to be wrong? And isn't it possible that there are still some things out there in the world, even a thing as big as Nessie, that are still waiting to be discovered? Thank you for watching my video, Traveller. I hope you have found this informative. Now, please promise me you won't go out onto the water looking for the Loch Ness Monster. I can't promise that you'll return safe and sound. Ha 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 ha.